Hi guys, my name is Neil Grove, and for those of you who know me as the Goliath, I'll explain a little bit more about that too. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of food prep today, uh, something I've learned over the years of being a personal trainer, 19 years now, um, fighting abroad in mixed martial arts, um, learning how to weight cut uh, for different reasons, obviously. Uh, in America, you have to weigh a certain weight to fight at heavyweight. And um, while I was in America, I learned a lot about nutrition, about portion sizes, calories. And in 2012, when I came back from fighting in America, Canada, Russia, and over here, obviously, um, I got introduced to Herbalife. Um, I'm not a believer in meal replacements, but if you're going to eat cereal, I'd replace that with something healthier. Hence why we call it a meal replacement. Or if you skip meals, I would call it a meal replacement again. But for me, I actually use Herbalife as a supplement. I'm making sure I get the nutrients in that I wouldn't otherwise with our everyday food. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you a little bit about um, nutrition today. Um, I train twice a week with my good coach, Stephen Gladstone, who I started training with in 2008. Uh, he's a Muay Thai coach, one of the best in the country. And um, I also do some of my own workouts two to three times a week as well. So I don't train like I used to. Uh, when I was fighting professionally, uh, I would train 14 to 20 hours a week. Now I do an average of five to six hours. What you need to know is that it is not the training that makes you lose the weight. It helps get you stronger and it helps you burn calories, but it's about what you stick in your mouth at the end of the day that determines what happens to this. So it doesn't matter what drugs you are, what illness you have, if you take care of what you stick in your mouth, you should not be putting the weight on. Okay, I've got today, I'm preparing some salmon. Um, I like oven baking my, my fish. I'm using uh, some seafood twist. Be careful with the salt content of some of these um, spices you get. Obviously salt is the, will make you retain water. You know, salt is good for you, but it's uh, too much of it can't be good for you either. Okay, so I'll do a bit of that. I am freshly out of lemon, which is something I would have added to it, but I don't have that. Okay, and then I've cut up some peppers, as you can see. And I have got some of these lovely, what are they called, green beans. And to cook it, I use coconut oil. I've also got lazy, lazy rice, whole grain rice from Uncle Ben's which I'll mix in. Right, so, to help me with a portion control, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Which is the best one? Let's use this. Okay, so, I did get it in. <laughs> Just gonna sort of warm these up. I don't like overcooking my vegetables. Um, pretty much just heat it up so it's Keeps most of its nutrients in, in it. The oven is ready, by the way, and this needs to go in there for 20 minutes. Okay, right, so what I tend to do is I make sure. I use my hand, and I want you to use your hand as well, as your indication of how big your portion should be, all right? The palm of your hand and the thickness of it is what the amount of protein should be that you should consume every time you eat. Now, I know that there are fancy diets out and you've got all these restrictions of eating and uh, what do they call it? Uh, fasting, okay? Now, I'm six foot six, and at the moment I weigh 119 kilograms, which is about 260 pounds. There's no way that you can stop me from eating when I am hungry, okay? Uh, so I eat, and I make sure I eat, not when I'm hungry, but consistently so that I am um, constantly speeding my metabolism up. Because that's what happens when you eat, okay? Your food needs to be digested, and your body goes to work doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna cook this for another minute or two, and then I'll add the peppers, because I think they take a lot less time to get ready. Um, I've got some, Piri, piri seasoning, which I'll add on it right at the end. I love lazy garlic. Like I said, I'm a lazy cooker. 
and obviously some uh, Lazy Tune too. I um, will make enough now to make sure that I've got enough to eat now and two more meals. And I'm going to show you how to do the portion control. I don't want this video to, uh, to end up uh, being too long. So, let's get this ready. By the way, my Uncle Ben's rice, I don't microwave it. Uh, I end up sticking it in here as well. And I cook it in the hob. Again, microwaves are good for defrosting, I suppose, but when you freeze something and you defrost it, a lot of the nutrients go somewhere and it's not in your stomach. Okay, so it looks quite nice, nice and colorful, and there's enough there for three portions. Okay, same as with the rice. Um, for my size and because I'm working out every day during this time of the coronavirus, uh, I need to keep myself sane, I need to keep myself busy, if you don't know it yet, I am doing videos, it's on my uh, YouTube channel. Feel free to go on there and watch some of these workouts. And if you want to know anything more about nutrition, please comment below, message me and I will get back to you personally and tell you a little bit more about challenges that we are doing within Herbalife, which uh, I do myself. <laughs> um, because they keep me accountable, I love the camaraderie in there. There's a lot of personal trainers in there and people with a lot of knowledge when it comes to nutrition and exercise. And they share all of that in this thing called the National Challenge and it's only five pounds to eat. So four pounds of that goes into a pot and at the end of it, those are the best results within the 28 days win money. I actually came third uh, in my category, which is tone it. So uh, yeah, anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so it's almost ready. Add a bit of piri piri. Been a while. Yeah. Okay. Small bit of garlic. Small bit, eh? <laughs> Loaded with antioxidants and all sorts of goodness that your body will need. Oh, it smells good. With all the uh, coconut oil. And then add this okay this needs to be in there for about two minutes so in that time it will help cook the vegetables at the same time too i want to do these live but um need a few more followers on here to make it worth it so guys if you like these videos and you like what you see please feel free to message Follow my uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, they're coming on nicely. I'm going to stop it here, and then what I'll do is I'll just add some pictures on uh, to show you what it ended up looking like. Guys, like I said, I'll do one or two of these a week with different meals, different ideas, and, and uh, workout videos that go along with it. Have a fantastic day.